Welcome everybody back to another episode of Chow Crunch. Chow Crunch. So, you know, yeah, we love our bubble tea. Yeah, we all know that. Yeah, and you know the Taiwanese, they love it even more. Yeah. They invented it in a can form. So whenever you need bubble tea, you have that in that fridge. You don't even need to go to a bubble tea shop anymore. Nice. So this is a lady boba. This is the oolong flavor, and this is the brown sugar flavor. Hmm. Do you think it has bobas in there? I don't know. We're that, gonna test it out question. and see if it's actually worth it. It's like two dollars for these, so it's cheaper oh, that's than bubble tea. But I don't know if it's gonna taste good. <laughs> Let's go. I love my bubble tea and my, like my milk tea. So anytime I go to Taiwan, I just like love drinking the like mm. bubble tea there. Super cheap, super good. This one, like we got the can. It's kind of hard. I don't know if you can see this. Here is your boba. <laughs> <laughs> it was like at the very bottom. So definitely, if you get this, give a good shake to oh, get yeah. the boba. It's gonna be hard for me to get my boba in here, right? Yeah. So let's, let's try it out. Cheers. Cheers. I would say it's pretty sweet. <laughs> it's got like, maybe that it does have a oolong flavor. The milk tea is, I don't know, it's, I don't know, it's not like super milky. It's kind of like this artificial milk taste to it. Is it bitter? No, oh, I, I feel like the, the tea flavor, it's not very strong to begin with. Um, I'll try it's, the it's all right. Yeah, try the boba. Oh, no. Is it's not a, a boba, it's not a boba. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> so we're looking at the ingredients on here. It's konjac jelly. So if you're never had konjac jelly, usually we use it in hot pots. It's that like zero calorie noodles that you eat. Oh, okay. So I think it's because if you leave the boba in here, it's gonna get not like chewy. So they switched it out. So it's like. <laughs> so that it's, is so weird. <laughs> yeah, it's not what you think boba is. <laughs> I mean, I can understand why it was. Um, <clears throat> Why they use konjac jelly? Because if they use like the typical tapioca pearls, it would just you know um, once it stays in the fridge, it'll just like harden up, and you'd have like a very subpar product. Um, but the konjac jelly, it's all right. It's really just an interesting texture in your mouth. Might really? Oh, oh man! Do you have a lot of bowl? Yeah, you do. You might have to chug it to get to the bottom. <laughs> oh yeah, it's really sweet. But that jelly thing, oh man, I drink so much. Oh, that's interesting. Here. I get, yeah, it is very interesting. It's, it's like very tender boba. Tender, Ten the early stages of boba. Yeah, it's not, it's not like chewy, like very mochi-like at all. But um, yeah, this is a little sweet on the sweet side for me. But let's try the brown, oh, well, I guess the brown yeah. sugar will be even sweeter. This should be really interesting. If that other one was sweet, this one's gonna be even sweeter, but yeah, man, this brown sugar has taken, it's taken over the world. Yeah, I know, right? All right, ciao. Like all the tea shops have it. Ciao. Mmm. It's not as sweet. It has that. Are you kidding me? No. <laughs> That's sweeter than the other one. No, I think the other one was sweeter. I think this one I could take taste that molasses of that brown sugar, which is nice. I don't know. It's it's definitely. I taste. I don't know about Mike, but I taste that it's a lot sweeter than the other one. Um, honestly, it tastes almost as if like uh, those bubble. Or sorry, the brown sugar bubble teas in uh, local bubble tea shops now. I feel like there's no difference. Obviously, besides the. The pearl at the bottom, but Kev, what do you think? Have you had a lot of bubble tea, brown sugar bubble tea? I've had a lot. It's huge. Like every bubble tea chain has like brown sugar now. You smell it like right off. You smell that caramelization, mm -hmm. the brown sugar. Let's see if it's as sweet or less sweet. Hmm. Definitely, yeah. yeah. It's, it's a different kind of sweet. The first one, I think, is just like straight, like sugary sweet. This one has mm, that yeah. depth and caramelization. Yeah. yeah. 
This no, this was like this one's not that bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like like that other one had like oolong flavor, but this one is like if you want bubble tea and brown sugar, this is what you get. Yeah. Again, the pearls. I don't know if you want the pearls because these are not specifically saying these are not what you expect the pearls to be. Maybe you want to try it, <laughs> but they're not what you expect. Let's go to ratings, guys. All right, so we're gonna rate each one separately. Yeah, let's do it separately. Okay, let's so go good. with the first one, the oolong one. On three, two, two one, one, zero. Oh. Okay, I give it a one because I think you just really have to try it. Like you actually have to try like all the flavors that they offer mm. just to really see what which one you like. Yeah, just for that, it's a one. Uh, I give it a zero. I, I was hesitant. I was gonna give it one, so maybe you should try it. But I don't think it's the better of the two flavors. If you're gonna get one, the pearls is not doing anything for you. Like it's just the flavor. If you like oolong and milk tea, <coughs> maybe get that. But yeah, I, I agree with Kev. Like now that we've tried both of them, like I'm sure if we had the first one and like not the brown sugar, we would have maybe gave it a different rating. Yeah. But okay. now that we've tried <coughs> both, it is what it is. But let's go to ratings for the brown sugar milk tea. On three, two, one. What? <laughs> so we just looks like we just have <laughs> yeah. one step. Yeah. What'd you guys get? So one? so one for me because this is actually pretty good for two something. It does yeah. taste like your standard um, bubble tea chain yeah. flavor. So mm -hmm. I think that's why. I think the downfall is just the pearls. Yeah. But just it's hard, right? As like a two go, like there's only so much you can do. Yeah. I gave it a one just because th this this one is definitely way better than the first one we try. It is brown sugar. It has the milk tea. But if you want like a, a canned milk tea boba, it's kind of not hitting the spot because you're expecting like that. You could just drink a milk tea. So you might as well get milk tea and, and no boba. Yeah. So because the boba is not doing anything to the product, oh, okay. I feel that's why. You just get milk teas are way better anyways. Yeah, you can definitely just drain this from the boba and just drink it as like a brown sugar milk tea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's pretty good. Like it's a good substitute for if you want to uh, if you can't access a local shop to get brown sugar milk tea, uh, and it's like a, a, I guess half the price of it's like a third price. It's only third two dollars for a can, oh. so way cheaper. Third of the price here in Vancouver. Yeah, so like, it's like seven dollars for a bubble tea nowadays. So. And I definitely think it's a nice, refreshing drink, especially if you really like brown sugar milk tea. Yeah, it's, it's a good flavor. So I mean, mm. just as long as you don't care about the boba, it's mm, the product itself is pretty good. On that note. Leave us a note down below if you like milk tea. Where where's your favorite chain of boba? Oh, oh yeah. From? Yeah, yeah. All right. I think that's it for this episode. Ciao. Ciao.